work of that today? Yes, I think uh, we work very, very hard in this game. We miss a little bit uh, the freedom, we miss a little bit the rhythm. I think we start a little bit nervous. Everything what we do was uh, was not easy. We hard for it. We we fight hard for it. We fight hard to find the solutions on the pitch. So my opinion, the solution was there, but we we don't make it or don't find it really easy. Um, we miss a little bit the rhythm, I think, in this game. But uh, the player fight very very hard uh, to to win this game, to get this result, and to go in the final. This competition is very important for the club. Chelsea never win this competition. And that's why I feel, and the players also, they feel the pressure. And I think that's why uh, we miss a little bit uh, the freedom and uh, to find the easy solution, to find a good rhythm and uh, score more goals. But uh, the player did very, very well. We don't concede the goal. Uh, and we have a lot of opportunity to score the second goal. Hi, Salt. Hi. Um, uh, I would like to ask you about uh, Thomas' participation. If if you managed to to speak to him on halftime, how was the communication during the match and, and especially on halftime? And now Palmeiras uh, ahead of you. So, what are your impressions about Palmeiras? And they are managed by a Portuguese uh, coach as well as Abel Ferreira. So, uh, do you think it's it's a Brazilian team with a touch of, of European? How do you prepare for this profile that Palmeiras has? Yeah, first of all, we talked to Thomas in the half time. We have a, a good conversation. He has the same feeling that uh, he was a little bit nervous. We have uh, a lot of easy ball loses. And uh, we talk about it in the half time. We try to, to tell for the guys to calm down, uh, to play a better rhythm, to play, to find the easiest solution and don't fight for so hard for the difficult solutions. Uh, that was the, the main point uh, in the half time. We have a good conversation with Thomas, and I think we can help. Uh, we could help to the team in the halftime after the game. Uh, we don't speak uh, now with Thomas. Is maybe a bit later. First, the media, and after we can uh, we can talk to each other uh, about Palmeiras. Yeah, for sure, is a, is a uh, Brazilian team. Uh, it's a very 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 big team uh, with a good coach, with a good European coach. We expect a very very hard game in the final. With a lot of expectators from 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 Brazil, this can be again like today, a little bit the feeling like a away game, yeah, uh, with a lot lot of expectators for the other team, that make also things a little bit uh, more difficult. But I think that we are ready to play the final and we are here to win the final. Hi, uh, do you think? The goal was important for Romelu, and could you tell us what you thought of his performance and also maybe how he linked up with Kai Havertz, who he hasn't played with for a little while? Yeah, we are everybody very happy that Romelu do a good score. He, he fight very hard and uh, he try very hard in the last game. He give everything. Uh, that's why he, we get uh, we give him the chance all the time, game to game, and we hope that uh, that he has a lot of has a little bit luck. Yeah, uh, to score, he score the goal today, and he is very happy, and we are very happy, and we hope that he continues and then score against in the final. Kai Havertz also has a very good uh, training week, very very good training session uh, behind him. That's why we decide uh, to let him play, to see his uh, quality in the game. I think uh, he did his job very very good. He had some dangerous attacks, some some dangerous situation. He worked very hard in the defense to close the spaces. Uh, we was we, we do the good good game. Yeah, we do the good game. Good evening. Congratulations for the victory. Uh, ten years ago, I was in Yokohama and I saw Chelsea against Corinthians. Uh, what do you think that you should do? now to have a different end of the history because that day Corinthians won. So how is the plan to win a Brazilian team? Second thing, what your Brazilian players, you are, have some in Brazil in your team, Thiago Silva, for example, talk about Palmeiras, what they alert, how, how is the strength they think that uh, is of this Palmeiras? Thank you. Yeah, I think uh... 
that we are we are uh, well prepared uh, for this tournament and for this final. I think uh, the most important thing that we play a little bit more freedom in the final uh, and with a, a little bit better rhythm. I think to, the game today was good to 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 come in in the tournament uh, to play first time in the stadium uh, and a little bit uh, just acclimatized. Acclimatize. Yeah, acclimatize. 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 Uh, and uh, yeah, Brazilian team. We know uh, there's a very, very big club in Brazil. We know uh, that Brazilian uh, have a lot of, lot of good players. I think the next days we have to watch the videos, to watch the games. We analyze uh, Palmeiras to be to come in the final well prepared. Uh, just on Mateo Kovacic, obviously he played really very well tonight. I know Thomas had said previously he's one of the the kind of leaders in the team, you know, and the guys one of, a guy you wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley because he's obviously you know a tough guy. And, and it, it, that came out in the right way tonight, didn't it? He, he must have he must be very pleased with his performance. And you know, can you just sort of explain a little bit how about how important his performance was tonight and how important he is to the group? Yeah, Kova has a very big experience. He played a lot of big game in his career. That's why Kova is very important on the pitch and outside the pitch. I think he bring uh, today everything on the pitch. Is uh, a guy he never stopped to run. He never stopped to fight and try to find with the ball also all the time solution and have the teammates. He's all the time ready to help for everybody. That's why we are very happy to have uh, Kova in this group and. Uh, as a, as a big leader, yeah. Sorry, first at the back. Uh, hi, congratulations for the game. And do you think that Chelsea is the favorite team of this game uh, against Palmeiras? And it's a very important championship for Palmeiras because there is a song that all of the teams start to sing to Palmeiras that the Palmeiras doesn't have this World Cup. And for them, they start to be angry because of this song. And if Palmeiras win, they will never listen this song again. So it's very, very important to Palmeiras. What do you think about it? And there are many Palmeiras fans coming just for the final game. Do you know anything about the Palmeiras fans? And it's going to be a fate for you. Yeah, I can uh, tell you here when before we travel uh, here to Abu Dhabi, uh, we watch the video when Palmeiras uh, leave the training center and uh, start to travel to come here to Abu Dhabi. And we see uh, a lot of pictures and videos how the fans celebrate and support the team only for the travel. And um, I have to tell you, this is amazing. They have amazing supporters uh, for sure. And uh, as I said, in the final, they come 10, 15,000 maybe uh, Brazilian supporters. It was I expect a very uh, big atmosphere, but we are used to it. We play also big Champions League uh, games, the Champions League finals, the Super Cup. Uh, we are used to it. We are prepared uh, for it. That's why I expect uh, the very, very good atmosphere and the good game against a very good team. We only have time for two more in the room and two online. Thank you. Think of the performance of Kepa tonight, and do you think he'll be a bit unlucky if he doesn't make the team on Saturday now where uh, Edu is back uh, with you today? Uh, as I said before the game, uh, we are very, very, very happy with Kepa. He did uh, in the cup uh, a very big performance and saved the penalty, and today also. Uh, the opponent doesn't prove too much Kepa, but, but, but we need Kepa. He was there and to make a one big save in, uh, in the game. Uh, Kepa is in a very good shape uh, since weeks. He trained very well. He played very well. We are very, very lucky and happy to have him. And the next days uh, we have to see and we have to decide uh, who plays the final. Uh, we're waiting also for Thomas and Thomas' opinion. We talk also with the goalkeeper coaches and with the goalkeepers also. And then uh, we take the decision for the final. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Last in the room. Thank you.
سؤال للمدرب بس انا بارك لك اول حاجه كونجراتوليشن كيف ترد على الانتقادات حول انه افضليه بطل اوروبا وامريكا الجنوبيه بيشارك على طول من المباراه النهائيه نصف النهائي عفوا وهل تفاجات بالحضور الجماهير الكبير لفريق الهلال السعودي ومن خلال مواجهه فريق الهلال كيف بتغير مستوى الكره العربيه يا We could not decide when we enter the tournament. This is the rules for the tournament, and uh, they just told us when we have to come and uh, which day we have to play. We come and we play. Uh, we play this game. Uh, we don't make the rules from the tournament. Al Hilal, as I said before the game uh, today, was the, today have the same feeling. That is a very good uh, team uh, with a lot of offensive quality. I have a lot of good offensive player, and um, as I told also before, it feels like a away game. The expectators was, uh, was a lot of expectators for Ali Hal. They push the team uh, forward all the time. They celebrate all the small, uh, positive uh, things and push the team forward. That's why it was not so easy uh, to play this game today. But I'm very happy that uh, we can manage it and we can win this away game. Okay, we're just going to take a couple online. We have Sky United. Please. From sunny, one from sunny London. Sorry, Gary, we missed the first part. Yeah, one from sunny London. I uh, hope you can hear me okay. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, thank you. I was wondering whether you could you could give us any update on Thomas. What is what his latest status is in terms of COVID, and is he likely to be able to? come out soon and if not hopefully yes but if the answer is no you can go on and win this without him actually in the country yeah we hope everybody uh, that comas can uh, travel soon as possible as i said uh, before the game uh, thomas follows the government rules and uh, is in a self isolation right now we do you every day a test a covid test a pcr test and uh, when we have the first uh, negative covid test and uh, this opened uh, the possibility for thomas to travel and uh, yeah it can happen every day uh, we're waiting for it uh, and we are really really sure uh, that he can come and he can enjoy the final thank you thank you first coach so low we'll be back in a few minutes with the man of the match